I have a lot of people asking me to do a proof of why a negative times a negative is a positive. So something like negative A times negative B equals positive AB. This will be fun. Let's do this. First, let's do a quick review of distribution. If I have negative 3 times x minus 1, I want to distribute this negative 3 to the x, which will give me negative 3 times x. And I also want to distribute it to the negative 1, which would be negative 3 times negative 1. So next, we have negative 3 times 0 equals 0. That's the multiplicative property of 0. It brings everything to 0. So if I rewrite the inside of this parentheses as 1 minus 1, I have haven't changed anything. This is still negative 3 times 0, which will still equal 0. Then I'm going to do distribution just like we did up above. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 times 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 times negative 1. And this will still be equal to 0. Now, negative 3 times 1, well, 1 is the multiplicative identity. So this is still just negative 3. And then we can bring down the rest of this stuff. Now let's add 3 to both sides. These two things will cancel each other out, giving us negative 3 times negative 1 on the left-hand side. And this right-hand side is just going to be 3. And now we can see negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. So a negative times a negative was a positive. This is cool. This shows that a negative times a negative is a positive. But it's a specific case. We are able to change this negative 3 into a negative a. This is still true. Negative a times negative 1 is a. But this is still only referring to negative 1. Well, this 1 minus 1 here, we didn't have to do 1 minus 1. We could have done b minus b. And now you can see what that would lead to is negative a times negative b equals positive ab, which is what we were trying to prove. How exciting.